Who's the hog's first victim? <laughs> so, with your first conference game edition, you will be playing number eight, Florida. University of Arkansas might have the toughest schedule in all of football. Does it suck for Arkansas to have to play all six? Yes. They're probably going 0-10. I mean, they are. Hey, let's see that cupcake. Show me what's behind door number two. Georgia? And Nix will just clock it. I, now, he, he dribbled the snap, picked it up, and then spiked it. It was a late whistle, but now a flag comes in. Watch him. He's saying clock, clock, clock. Watch him up the snap. They're not under center much at Auburn. Nick Brahms got it up there to him cleanly, and you can see he's he's and he stands absolutely up he absolutely clocks it backwards too, which I wonder if is another thing they might be looking at here. After video review, the ruling on the field stands. Lost it down for Auburn at the 22-yard line, fourth down. Wow. It's a foul for an intentional grounding. There's a 10-second runoff. Please reset the game clock to 18 seconds. The clock will start on the ready for play. And this time, he barely sneaks it through. It's as much less with COVID interruptions. Emory will get a handful, and we were really close to this game not happening either. Let's see if that ball came out late. It certainly did, is Fouché has the football. But the initial mark is that Emory was down. So there's the scrum. That ball's out. The ruling on the field of the runner down before the ball coming loose is under further review. And I don't know that I heard a whistle because Emory was doing a great job with his leg drop. Watch this ball, it's out. There's no doubt that that football was raked out. After further review, although the ball was clearly fumbled, there was no clear recovery of the ball, so the road on the field stands. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know how that's possible. And if you're an Arkansas fan, you're, you're going, not again. Not again, because this is the end of the Auburn game. No clear recovery. Joe Fouché, number seven, for Arkansas comes in, rakes this ball out. There's no clear recovery. I, I don't know how that's possible. Look who comes out of the pile with the football. It's clearly Arkansas's ball. A Razorback to finish. Personal foul, targeting a defensive player, number one defense, plays on the further this is massive if Catalan's out of the game for the rest of this game, given the impact he has in the first half against Mizzou next week. I, you know, I don't know what else a defender can do right there. Moved to turn his whole body as he made that tackle. And Butte is going to the ground. I, I mean, other than just avoid the receiver entirely, I don't know what else he can do. He's turned completely sideways. After further review, the ruling of targeting is confirmed. Number wow. one is his I just. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. On the defense, number 58. That 15 yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Let's take a look and see what happened here. Connor standing in the pocket, and it looks like he's just falling to the ground. He's stumbling, trying to get to the quarterback, and unfortunately, you can see him falling to the ground and right on that left knee of Connor Bazelak. You hope he's okay. There's former walk-ons for Arkansas on the field right now, and Morgan and Henry. Bazelak going up top. That one's incomplete. 
after the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense number seven. That penalty will be enforced 15 yards from the previous spot, and it carries an automatic first down. That is number seven's first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, we, we see guys celebrate and all that kind of stuff all the time after a hit or a play. Right. I mean, they get up to get an extra you know, celebrate a first down these days, right? <laughs> right. I'm not really a fan of that that particular penalty. Roundtree, big hole coming near side. He's to midfield. It's a foot race down the sidelines, and Fouché finally chases him down. But another large gain for Larry Roundtree.